Arnabies. Hi, Arnabies. So, the craft second craft fair is over. <laughs> it's a long way to go to have to drive an hour and a half there and an hour and a half home. Make, made for a very long day, even longer, especially on the Saturday, which it was open from 10 to 6. And then by the time you pack up and get home, it's like almost 8.30 at night. So Well, the first day was till 7. Yeah, right? first day. And we got there really early because Sandy had got this guy that's fanatical about being on time and wants to get there with plenty yeah. of time to set up. So that seemed long, too, because we sat around for a couple three hours until it opened yeah. and then we went there so but then the friday night was very slow so they had yeah. friday night was from three to seven and it was on remembrance day yeah. so um it just i don't know kind of put a bit of a somber kind of downer mood on it so well and um, we got yelled at <laughs> well we showed up and uh they were getting they were in the midst of the remembrance day ceremony which was actually up above us uh, in a park up a set of stairs in a park so we got up there and we were started to unload and we're talking to each other about what we're doing and we got shushed yeah. we had a, a karen go shh, shh. we're in the middle of a ceremony and got quite cross with us so we're like we're just crafters we don't know about these things so yeah anyway uh so yeah the first night was a little slow but the saturday was was really good. We did really quite well on the Saturday, as as well as on the Sunday. So um, it's the first time they've had this craft fair at this location and this particular craft fair. Yeah. Um, I think we actually did really really well. We're a little bit yeah. about maybe three four hundred dollars less than the weekend before, but that was really really good. But when we're talking with the other vendors, I think we probably did as well oh, or. Yeah. Better. Or better than most of the other vendors. A lot of them were kind of like so-so. And so, we were the only crocheter there. Yes, we were the only crocheters Although there. there was one lady there that crocheted cowls um, with a leather strap thing on it. And she was selling them for $60 a piece. And there was a hat lady there who had kind of felt hats that she, yeah. that she made as well. <laughs> and they were only one style, only for... People 80 years old and over, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. It was kind of like a old lady hat with a little fake flower yeah. or whatever. So she had exactly the same style, just in a variety of colors. And she sold quite a few. Um, so she actually, I think, did pretty well. So, and we, yeah, ours was weird. We sold only Sandy's hats on Saturday or on Friday, and then only my hats on Saturday. Um, <laughs> And a bit of a mixture of everything yeah. on Sunday. And we sold quite a few sweaters and yeah. lots of other stuff. And Sandy so, brought some baby sweaters yeah. for the first time ever. Which we had yeah. four or five of those. And we sold four of those yeah. uh, with fairly minimal fuss. And we would have sold more if we would add some that were slightly larger. Yeah, they were looking between like a year to three years old. So I guess we'll have to try to make some. Or Sandy will have to try to make some yeah. we a little bigger. <laughs> um, so we have two weeks now to... Make more things for the last craft fair. And we're going to have to make some more things because we've sold a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, and this last one is in Qualicum. So if you don't know about Qualicum, Qualicum is demographically the oldest city in Canada. The average age of the residents there is over 80 years old. Um, He's talking about the age of the people, not the, the, age, the age of the, of the actual, actual place. residents. <laughs> yeah. It's also the only city in Canada where the golf carts go faster than the automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever go to Qualicum, it's 30 kilometers an hour, and that's in the fast lane, so it drives me crazy. But we have it's an older demographic, it's people that tend to like crochet and knitted goods. So, I and there's a lot of fairly well to do people there. It was kind of originally an old English snot money kind of place, and it's kind of expanded out from that. So, I think. We're probably going to do quite well there. So we're going to make some more things and, yeah. and try if to I get ready. If I can actually get to making anything. It seems like every time I try to make something, it's not working. Or I've run out of time or i got something else to do. 
I'm just, I'm going in about 20 different directions right now and I can't seem to focus on any one Sandy thing. doesn't believe in doing things one thing at a time. She tries to do a hundred things a little bit at a time and well, in I the mean, end doesn't do anything. Yeah, but I so. mean, I, I, I'm trying to focus on something and then it's like, oh, I got to go to the post office. Oh, I got to go to the store. Oh, I got to cook you dinner. Oh, I got, you know, and it's like constant stuff going on and I can't get anything done. So I'm really struggling with that right now. And we've got some family issues that are happening. Mm. And my niece is back in the hospital again. And so my stress level is through the roof. And Christmas uh, is coming, Christmas which never puts coming. any pressure on anybody. Yeah. I just got Angela's, but for those of you that don't know, um, me and Angela from my precious yarn. I can never say that. My precious yarnery. My, my precious yarnery. My precious, um, my precious yarnery, and I are doing uh, the twenty-five days of Christmas starting on December first. So we're doing a gift exchange. So I just got her box in the mail. Big box, box. in the mail. Oh, Oops, and there's my phone. Hold that okay, thought. Okay, keep going. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. When you're a carpetologist, you're always on call. So a couple of the uh, things that happened, which are nice. Our number one subscriber fan, Liz, from Hi, Liz. Courtney, who drove all the way down to Nanaimo to meet us at the previous craft fair, um, showed up because this was her hometown, which was yeah. very nice. And she brought it. Was it her sister or her... a friend? A uh, cousin? Oh, geez. Now sorry, I I'm Liz. so sorry. Brought somebody anyway to meet <laughs> us. and uh, Sister-in-law, I think. Yeah, and she ended up uh, <laughs> buying one of Sandy's sweaters, I think, too, which was kind of nice. So, mm -hmm. um, so she, yeah, it was she gave me crap because very nice, <clears throat> very nice to see her. Yeah, she gave me crap because the last time she came and saw us, I gave her stuff and didn't let her pay for it. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so this, so this time, um, we graciously <laughs> took her money. <laughs> Anyway. And then um, the and big reveal, the big highlight. So it's so funny because uh, when Liz uh, met us last week, she was really fangirling all over Sandy, which, <laughs> which was I still don't understand why. Really <laughs> funny, but uh, Sandy was equally fangirling when um, a surprise person showed up. Yes, it was Gary from Urban Yarns. The Gary. Hi, Gary. The Gary. <laughs> Yes. It was kind of he funny. He poked his head around the corner yeah. and said, Hi, Sandy, like yeah, he's known like, her I'm all sitting, her life. I'm sitting here crocheting. They've never and... met each other except they've seen each other's <laughs> videos. And no, it was really sweet. And they had a nice hug. And, and I I and, absolutely, I, it, it took and me Sandy a was like, Oh my God, it's Gary. Well, it took me From a Urban second. Yard. Yeah, it took would... me a second to figure out who I was looking at at first. I couldn't right? figure out what all the fuss was about. It, it didn't look like Brad Pitt. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Why she was getting so excited, well, but uh, but it was funny because he kind of he poked his head around the mannequin, and he, I hear a hi, Sandy, and I I looked up and I went, oh hi, and then I went, oh Gary, <laughs> I dropped everything, I pushed customers out of my yeah, way. Yeah, I was trying to sell stuff. She shoved this old lady down on the ground, I did and not. trampled all over her. I did not, but close. <laughs> And I went up and I gave him a big hug and his husband was with him yeah. and I gave his husband a big hug. He was going to shake my hand. I went, uh -uh, I'm a hugger. So I gave yeah. him a hug <laughs> and we I feel the same way and... when it comes to shaking women's hands. It just yeah. feels awkward. I just hug them. <laughs> so yeah, we, we talked for oh, about 20 minutes, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. They had a really good chat. Yeah. And, then, and then of course they had to take a picture with each other and yeah. which I think Sandy will be posting on this video. Or, yeah. I'll put it. And then the uh, Gary hopefully posted as well. So yeah. Yeah. So, it's really nice when you meet somebody that um, yeah. you don't, you've never met face to face, but we get to know you guys through this and stuff. And the yeah. people really do feel like a connection with us. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so it was it was really good to see him, and he is exactly like he is on his videos. He's such a sweetheart. His husband's adorable, and um, you know we got our picture taken. I put my arm around him and everything, and then when he left, I started to realize that 
I was itchy and I was yeah. feeling hot flash. She hugged the and... king of wool who had a wool sweater on. And uh, it was Sandy's allergic to wool. So... I think him and his husband had wool on. <laughs> Well, when you're the king, I didn't of, even... the king of wool of knit. Or oh, whatever, yeah. Right? I, I didn't even think. I was just so focused on Gary himself and his husband. I wasn't even considering that he, well, he, he knits sweaters. That's all why the time, Sandy's right? with me because I'm 100% synthetic. <laughs> oh, my God. That gosh. Acrylic. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it's so true. I <laughs> guess. Um, but anyways, yeah. So for the rest of the day, I was just like, <laughs> I, was, I was trying so hard to not scratch, but it was so worth it. It was so worth it. I, I was, I was absolutely thrilled that he took the time to come and say hello. That meant the world to me. I mean, he moved here from Vancouver. If you guys are familiar Even though with we Gary. Told him, we keep telling you guys we're full. You yeah. can't come here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, I had a feeling at some point we may run into each other. But I didn't expect him to come all the way to come and see us at the craft fair. So, thank you, Gary. Um, you made my day. You made my weekend. That was just so sweet. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'll have that picture at the end of the video along with some video footage that I took of the craft fair and uh, and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. And then, you know, yeah. of course, the first time they've had it. And then Lori, mm -hmm. who's a pretty good bud and who organized the whole thing. And it's not yeah. easy, you know. We take for granted the amount of effort it takes for somebody to take the reins to actually organize a craft fair. I mean, this was and a two-level Do craft all the marketing. Fair. She got radio yeah. advertising, probably put yeah. out a fair bit of her own money for deposits and stuff. And then also we have a place that we can go to, to sell stuff. So thank you, yeah. Lori. Yeah, um, thanks, and we Lori. will definitely be back next year. It is a long way to travel, but... We are trying to build a brand here on the island, and I think oh, we do have to go yeah. up island as well as we're talking yeah. about making our first foray to Victoria. Uh, yeah. So next year we're looking at perhaps a five-week craft fair season. Listen if to this guy. This would be um, Nanaimo, um, <laughs> Nanaimo, Co uh, Courtney, hopefully Duncan. We can get back into Duncan, even though they shafted yeah. us this year. Yeah, and possibly um, Victoria. Um, and then um, Qualicum, the one we're going to do in two weeks. And then this one in Saanich, which is a suburb of Victoria. Is it Victoria or is it's it Saanich? It's in Saanich. Oh, okay. Since, which is not quite going as far as right in the deepest, darkest Victoria. Probably easier to find parking and stuff too. So. Yeah. So that's the plan, sort of, for that's next his year. Plan. Which means he seems to have more plans than this I do. is the plan for total yarn domination <laughs> on the island. Um, we want to be the king of the crocheters oh, here. The king, see, you hear and, this? And the queen. King. The king. It's bad enough it's when it's not about me. It's about him. It's bad enough when the other poor crocheters show up and they set up their little display, and then Sandy comes along with our display. <laughs> It's like when the Borg show up on Star Trek. It's like, oh, crap. Prepare to be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Right? Oh, so, I don't know. Sandy's stuff is so nice. And she does such a great job with the display. And this obnoxious guy with her just would sell and shit to anybody. He would say anything to, to sell a hat. That guy has no shame whatsoever. You know, I was, I was really proud of George this last two weekends. I didn't lie much this time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's like this is the first year that he's made hats. It's the first year yes. that he's sold his hats. And he he really put himself out we there. We sold about 40 or 50 of my hats. I made yeah. 88 hats. I think we've got around 50 or so left. So we've sold, yeah. you know, 40-odd yeah. mm -hmm. hats. So we sold 20-something yeah. at this last craft fair. So. Yeah. I was but surprised because I, you know, well, I didn't think was, people he, would like him as much. And that's that the much. funny thing. He never told me how nervous he was, you know, because George is always like, you know, what? like what? tough as nails. Flexing and, his pecs. Yeah. It's like, but he never, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> he, 
<laughs> he never told me that he was actually nervous that his hats wouldn't sell. And the funny thing is, is that that's how I feel every craft fair that we do. And I'm sure you guys understand that do craft fairs. It's stressful. It did you know? give me a bit of an insight into mm -hmm. how it is for Sandy, especially like last year when we went to the only craft fair we did and she didn't sell any sweaters for two days. <laughs> And she was so distraught. Like, I worked so oh, hard on these, and yeah. they're really nice, and people like, oh, wants to buy them. And then they all came on the Saturday, and we sold them there. Yeah. We sold every sweater we had, and we were panicking because we had Sunday. But fortunately, I have a basement full of mystery totes. <laughs> and we found a tote, and it was full of sweaters, which saved our bacon here. Yeah. So, but this but, time uh, around is a little different. There's no mystery totes downstairs anymore. Yeah. There's a lot of empty totes. Yeah. So... I did make a lot of sweaters with the movie marquee challenge, but, um, I mean, uh, some of the stuff that I did have left over from last season is summer stuff. But we've so, learned what we always know. As much as Sandy is sick of making them, scooties oh, are still the signature item. We've sold, I think, 15 or 16 in two weeks. We sold 10 in Nanaimo, every one we had in Nanaimo, Sandy made three or four more. We sold them. She made two or three more while we were at the craft fair. We sold them. Um, yeah. Those hoods, boy, they're the magic thing. They're the thing that we seem yeah. to be known for. And yeah. even though we don't get winter, winter here, it's amazing. People <laughs> love them and they buy them. And yeah. so we have two weeks now for Sandy to hopefully make another 15 or 20 of them that I, that I can sell up in... Um, in Qualicum. Wishful thinking. The little old ladies that drives 30 kilometers an hour everywhere. Yeah, wishful thinking. So. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my niece might be coming up to Nanaimo to go to the hospital up here. And if she does that and gets admitted, that means my sister will be staying here. I just found this out today. Oh, news, she, news. Well, I just found out. Before Surprise, we George. <laughs> too so, late, too late to move out. <laughs> So she may be coming to stay here for a day or two while Michelle's getting looked at. That's actually okay because if uh, this is on the weekend when we're away, then the dog's got somebody around. Well, I, it might not be. Well, like we don't whatever. Know. But anyways, um, if my sister comes, then I may not get anything done. Hopefully she'll help you do stuff. Actually, She, can't, she doesn't crochet. No, though. but Charlene is a very good organizer. <clears throat> She's the anti-Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, who's kind of scattered, nah, and oh, do, yeah. uh, uh, Charlene is very disciplined oh, yeah. and regimented she and is. organized. And like, yeah. if, if you ever need anybody to organize your craft room, Charlene's oh, yeah. the gal, and yeah. she loves doing this stuff. Just yeah. loves it. So she thrives on. And boy, believe me, if you guys could see what this craft room looks like right now, it's bad. Well, we're in the middle of craft season. It's so. bad. Well, this was going on before the craft well, season. Well. <laughs> so anyway. Okay, let's address the other elephant in the room. My hair. Oh, yeah. I got it all chipped off. I, I went, I told her, I said, this is kind of what I want. I thought Sandy's brother had come home from the hairdresser. <laughs> I, she went, <laughs> she went scissor crazy. I actually kind of, I actually kind of like it. Yeah, she went scissor crazy. It's going to take I a normally like weeks. Sandy with nice long hair. <clears throat> Well, yeah. So I can grab her by the back of the hair and stop it. <laughs> direct her around. Stop it. But um, but um, she showed up with this, at, you know, and I thought it was really cute. It's I don't like it right now because it's that first. She cut never thing. likes anything yeah. anybody does. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's and yeah. The, she only goes to the same salon to get her hair done by the same she person. She usually does a really good job, but this time it it's a bit short. But anyway. That's okay it'll because I was having hot flashes and everything, so it's all right. And it'll take a couple of days for it to relax, and then I might be able to do anything, to do something with it. But the gray is horrendous, and so I've got to color my hair. I feel bad for you, Sandy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have to cut his hair. So. The only part of my hair that's not gray is the big bald spot up at the top, <laughs> which is actually a solar panel. Yes. <laughs> So, it's the yeah. old joke, it's not a bald spot, it's a solar panel yeah. for a sex uh -huh. machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm putting my coffee down. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything else we need to talk about about this weekend. So. Is there? No, no, another another craft fair come and gone. Yeah. Uh, next one will again be an adventure. We've never done this one before or yeah. been in Qualicum before. Yeah. Although Qualicum people do tend to come down to Nanaimo, so we're likely going to see some people. And also, I have some dragon boat gals that live up in the Parksville Qualicum area. Mm -hmm. So I'll put a little post out on our dragon mm -hmm. boat site that, hey, we're in Qualicum. Because the girls from Nanaimo came and really supported us well, spent a lot oh, yeah. of money and stuff. Yeah, I'm so, going to owe them big time. Well, <laughs> Marie and Alone's probably spent $300 oh, for, yeah. for stuff. It's crazy. So, but, she, but she loves all our stuff, so that's great. <sighs> yeah. Oh, also, um, I got a whole bunch of crystals in and um, stuff like that. So I, I didn't tell you guys about this. But I do have a YouTube channel for my Spirit Raven Etsy shop. I haven't put anything on it yet because I'm going to wait till January. I'm going to let the Christmas season calm down. I'm going to wait. My grandbaby's coming in a couple few weeks. Ah! No pressure. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to kind of calm down. And then I'll start doing videos on that channel. Um, so if you're interested in the jewelry and the crystals... I have the link down below. You can go and subscribe now. Am I going to be on that channel too? Probably not because you're oh. not interested in that kind of stuff. So, so it can't be like Spooky George instead of Crochet B? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so anyways, yeah. So I'll be doing videos on that. But I do have um, some stuff. I, I may do one more video on this channel to show you what I have now. Um, but after that, everything's going to be shifted over because I don't want to mix the two. Can't uh, cross the streams. No, because I figure, you know, for, for all of you that aren't interested in it, I don't want you to have to sit and suffer through. That would be a like video. a crocheter and a knitter living together. No, <laughs> you know what? There's a lot of crocheters out there right now that are trying to knit. I'm not one of them. No, but you know, crocheters crochet and knitters knit. I'm a knitter. I don't know. Well, they're they're trying. I think it was Laura Mad Mimi's crochet and farming. She started it. <laughs> she she started the knitting trend. So yeah, but I'm not I'm not going to sit on that bandwagon because I can't do it. Nope. Nope. Stay so, in your lane. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So I guess that's it, you guys. We'll uh, talk to you about the next one. Yeah. See you. Uh, uh, what weekend is that? November 24, 25, 26. Yeah. Yeah. So. And that's the last one of the season. Then we have all yeah. of December to get ready for. Baby. Babies and Christmas and yeah. all that stuff. So. Yeah. So. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, and I guess we will talk to you in the next video. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. Well, it's our second craft fair day. Or week or whatever. It's our week, second craft week fair. Week two of the craft fair season. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got a long, long ways to go this time around. This is going to be the furthest one out from where we live, um, which is kind of nice because then we get that one out and done with. And then the next one's not quite so far away. Um, so we did get a, we did get some, oops, sorry. <laughs> we did get somebody telling us about another craft fair uh, that's in the beginning of December, but I doubt very much that we can get into that because it's kind of late in the season. And to be honest, I think I'm going to be pretty pooped by the end of this. So if we don't get in, that's fine. Ooh. But next year. Next year we so might try. So we're only going to be doing three. We're on our way to Courtney. Courtney's about an hour and a half drive from where we live. We've never gone this far this way up the island before. Um, it's an interesting area. There's a fairly good population. It's almost the same as Nanaimo. A lot of uh, fairly well-to-do retirees and people. So demographics look good. And these are people that probably would not have driven all the way down to Nanaimo last weekend to come to our other craft fairs. It's like a whole different group of people that will hopefully uh, be seeing us for the first time and be wowed at what
what amazing stuff we've made. And, uh, I did get a couple of scooties done. <laughs> yes, I put her on scooty patrol. I yeah. nailed her to her chair and she couldn't go to the bathroom because she made <laughs> some. So we have three. Yeah, we got three. I'm working on the So fourth they'll one. be sold by noon today. They'll be gone. <laughs> Which is really fast because the craft beer doesn't open till three o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. it's going to be a different, a different dynamic for this one, I think, because. Well, we don't know. It's it's. No, I mean the in, great in, unknown. I mean, like in terms of time, because it's what I don't even know what time it is right now, but. It's just after ten o'clock. Yeah. It so. It opens at three. So yeah, it opens at three. We're going to be there in a half an hour. So lots of time to set up. Yeah, and then we're and, there till 7. And, yeah, and, and then, then we have to leave. We'll get home about 8, 30, 9 o'clock because we'll be coming home in the dark. Yeah. And yes. that drive super fast and stuff. So. Oh, I've been stressed out about this one um, just because of where it is. It's not snowing. It's actually raining, so that's good. Um, but we'll see how it goes. This will be This will be interesting. Well, we're trying to spread our wings a bit and go a little further afield. Yeah. Without having to catch the ferry over to the mainland, yeah. um, I think it would be lucrative there. But then you'd have to motel, hotel it. And, yeah. You know, you can't spend everything you make on your accommodations to go to these fairs. Yeah. Uh, so next year, I'm hoping the plan will be to get into the three that we that we're doing this year, plus the one that we were supposed to get in that we couldn't get into, and then hopefully this one in Saanich. Touch some salt springs, so that would be five weeks, which is a pretty good season. Um, of course, we're gonna have to spend the rest of the year making stock because we seem to be selling it very quickly. Yeah. Um, so, as much as uh, Sandy doesn't want to hear it, I'm probably gonna have to do 200 hats for next year, <laughs> which I would have done this year. The hats, it doesn't take me long to make them, it takes Sandy forever to finish them. That's kind of where we ran into the problem. If I could adopt a little uh, no. African child or something no. that we could sew that would learn how to finish these off for me, no. that might be a better way to go. Then I could just crank them out. But, uh, well, anyway. the, the difference between this craft fair and other craft fairs, too, is it's going to be the first time that I'm actually going to have some of my jewelry out. Yes. So, um, yeah. Uh, the organizer is a friend of Sandy, yeah, so friend. she's so going to allow kinda, us to fudge yeah, a bit. Yeah, I kind of slipped in there. <laughs> well, she offered, so I was like, Give us something okay, different to sell. Yeah. I mean, you know. Our stock was getting a little low there, so. Well, I sold about 20 to 25 of the hats that I made yeah. last weekend. I only made 88 of them. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we yeah. sold a lot of Sandy's beanies. We probably sold half of the sweaters. Sandy made. She hasn't made any more sweaters. Yeah. So we could be looking at uh, two weeks. Well, we have two weeks after this till our next, which will allow us to maybe make some more stuff. Yeah. Um, we'll try to crank out some more hats. And Sandy, I don't know, we'll either make some more squiddies or some more sweaters or Well, whatever. I can't. I won't be able to make any sweaters because I don't have enough time. Well, it just seems like time has slipped away. You know, like it's it doesn't seem to matter how much time I have, I never have enough time. You know, like this this week I figured I'd get like five or six goodies done and you know, maybe finish the sweater that I was doing and and it just stuff happened. You know, the movie marquee stuff I have to get that done. Um, and that was a kerfuffle because the yarn that I was going to use for that didn't work. So I had to get another yarn and I already started a different baby sweater because, like, you know, it was just, oh my God. It's, so anyways, I'm kind of scrambling. So <clears throat> I just have to get through these next two craft fairs and then I think I can relax a little bit. But, uh, you know, everybody's telling me I've got way too much on my plate. And it's just the nature of the business, right? Like I just, I just do way too much. So that's cold life. Yeah, I do too much. I don't get, you know, I, I start things. I don't, I can't get them finished because well, I, I start not something a finisher. else. She's a starter. Yeah, I, I've got starditis. So <laughs> and it's the same with me. Like um, we're starting to see a little bit of a slowdown in the carpet cleaning now because the weather's getting crappy. Um, so 
that's to be expected. So I'm so my days are a little bit of carpet cleaning, then I go dash, and I don't really like to go too late into the dark because it's really dark and hard to see here. So I'm basically going for like five five thirty, and then I'm done. So that limits the amount of time I can dash as well. So and then as we get slower. Once we get past Christmas, it'll be super dead for carpet cleaning. It's going to be dashing like almost every day and stuff. And, and so, I'll, I'll, be, I'll start to be taking trips to start, Vancouver to see yes, my grandbaby. Sandy will be know, gone. So. <coughs> and then she'll be visiting. And when, when she's gone, I get lonely. So I'll probably be dashing into the dark because I'll, otherwise I'll be sitting at home climbing the wall. So. Then I'll be worried, you know. <coughs> you know <laughs> It's just one of those things. You know? It's, it's but, called life. We're doing what we have to do to pay the bills and make money like everybody else. We're all feeling yeah. feeling the pinch and the inflation and all this wonderful government-sponsored poverty. Yeah. <laughs> so. so anyways, okay, so I'll try, like I said, I'll try and make as much video as I can. Um, we'll, we'll show you the setup again Yeah. once, once we get it all Apparently, set up. Apparently this space is going to be a little bit bigger than the last space of it, I'm going, oh my god. <laughs> like, but that's I, I'm just kind of panicking a little bit. Well, we <laughs> should have a table up with your, your jewelry, so that will yeah. that'll take up some of the space. We didn't have that in the last one. So. Yeah. And yeah. this time we're going to have, we didn't have any of my hats on the heads, but this time I think you're saying one rack is going to be my hats and one rack's going to be your stuff. Yeah. So that'll be a little bit different on the display as well. Yeah. So yeah. I don't have enough hats to fill up a whole table because we'll put them flat on the table anymore because yeah. we sold a bunch of them. So. Yeah. Which I'm very happy about. I was actually worried. I got a bit of a feeling of what it's like to be you guys. It's one thing to be the support guy and uh, help Sandy sell the stuff, but the actual anxiety of of making it yourself and then wondering is anybody actually really going to buy any of these things? Yeah. I thought they looked nice and Sandy was quite sure that we would sell them but a little bit a little bit of nervousness but no they sold just fine. I think I sold yeah. as many hats as Sandy did for her beanie so it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. So. Anyways we're coming into Comox so we're going to go and uh, I will talk to you in a little while. Stop yawning. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Not much sleep last night. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you in a bit. Yarnabies. Good morning, Yarnabees. <laughs> so today is day two of the craft fair. Let's see how it goes, because last night was a bit slow. <laughs> so, but it was also Remembrance Day and everything. So um, and today is a very important day. Today is George's birthday. Yay! How old are you? Forty-nine. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> so um, sixty-two. My baby's getting older. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Okay? <laughs> so yeah, so every year we end up having to work on his birthday, so Hello. that sucks. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's hope for the best today. Positive energy. Yes. Okay. 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 Hi. Hey, Arnabies. Guess what? 
I am so, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked. But Gary from Urban Yarns just showed up with his husband at our craft fair and introduced himself to me. And I'm just absolutely over the moon. I couldn't be happier. It was such a shock. I, I just didn't even think that, that he would come and see me. <laughs> But yeah, he knew I was coming, I guess, and uh, he just, he showed up. He says, you're in my neck of the woods now. <laughs> so yeah, it was, um, it was so much fun talking to him. And Gary, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You just made my day. Um, I mean, it's, it's one thing to have subscribers come and say hello and it's so special but to have another youtuber actually acknowledge you uh it just it means the world it really does and i just you guys are so cute together i just love it it's <laughs> anyway. way better than hanging around with coach ab all day <laughs> are you jealous I don't know. Yeah. <laughs>